Did you know NASA launched two new spacecrafts in the same rocket last month? Storm Tracker 16 meteorologist Jeremy Lawan interviewed a NASA scientist to break down what we may be able to learn from these two new missions in tonight's Skywatch 16. After several delays, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carried two new pieces of highly anticipated scientific equipment from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California to the Earth's lower orbit, several hundred miles above the surface of our planet. Two missions called SphereX and Punch were launched at the same time so NASA could use its resources more efficiently. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I interviewed NASA scientist Dr. Tzu Ching Chang, who has been working on the SphereX project for a decade. I'm the senior research scientist at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and I am a colleague on the Galaxy, for, uh, Galaxy Formation Investigation in SphereX. We already have two telescopes in space. We have James Webb. We also have the Hubble. What makes SphereX different? Yeah, that's a great question. So as you know, James Webb and Hubble are very uh, powerful, large telescopes that give us amazing images of, of a very small patch of the sky, uh, but SphereX will have a very wide field of view and allowing us to understand uh, the big, bigger picture of the universe. And it is really very complementary. And if SphereX uh, finds any interesting object uh, during its all sky survey, we could follow up with James Webb and or Hubble to understand more about the universe. Great, so this will give us a wider picture Webb exactly. and Hubble will give us that up-close picture to understand that wider picture better. Exactly. Yes. Got it. Dr. Chang explained that SphereX will allow us to view the universe in 3D and through what she calls rainbow-colored glasses. In addition to being able to catalog galaxies using the seven colors of visible light, SphereX will disperse incoming light in the near-infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum into 102 different colors. We will discover corners of space that we have never seen before potentially increasing our chances of finding life elsewhere. Will SphereX help us to find more solar systems that are like ours? And water actually comes from, uh, from space in the form of water ice. So SphereX will conduct a survey to look, uh, look for the uh, signatures of water ice or carbon dioxide or other biogenic ingredients uh, in, the, in our own galaxy. The fleet of four punch spacecrafts, each about the size of a suitcase, will help us analyze the solar corona, the sun's outer atmosphere, and will enable us to better understand and predict space weather, like solar flares and auroras. With our sun in a phase of heightened activity, it's possible NASA could collect especially valuable data as soon as the end of the year. A punch will be looking towards the sun, uh, observing our own star, while SphereX will look away from the sun and observe everything else in the universe. So the, and the timing of the both missions are very uh, similar too. So NASA has been very uh, done a very careful planning so that we could launch to get together. And it, it is really cost effective to get uh, twice the science in one launch. Jeremy Luan, Newswatch 16.